Privacy has been a long-standing issue in the capital markets. It's something that's kept a lot of transactions and a lot of value and a lot of data from going on chain. The fundamental problem with privacy is that blockchains are inherently transparency creating more public technologies and privacy requires information to not be public. That's kind of the fundamental tension of privacy. The way Chainlink solves that is through systems like the Blockchain Privacy Manager, Deco with zero knowledge proofs, and CCIP private transactions, which partially uses the Blockchain Privacy Manager. Generally, the approach to privacy within the Chainlink ecosystem is encrypting information and sending it across different Oracle networks. In the case of the Blockchain Privacy Manager, controlling what information can enter or exit blockchains. And in the case of Deco, using zero-knowledge proofs, which is a unique encryption approach to prove things about the external world by generating proofs that don't disclose the information that's in the world outside of a blockchain. And so you basically get the benefits of the information being on chain in the form of the proof, that the information meets certain conditions, such as the location of a person, their identity, the amount of funds in a bank account. And you know that that information reaches a certain threshold, but you don't see the information itself. The challenge of privacy really comes from this inability of blockchains to create the privacy that's needed on chain. And so what Oracle Networks do is create all these workarounds to successfully allow identity data, market data, proof of reserve, proof of funds to go on chain in a useful way. The fundamental need for privacy in capital markets is very basic because transactions have to be private for both legal and economic reasons. And if blockchains are inherently public, transparent technologies, you really can't put certain transactions or certain pieces of data like identity data onto those public transparent systems. This creates uh, an immense need for privacy that can't be fulfilled by the blockchain itself, but it can be solved by using various encryption techniques on the data before it reaches the blockchain. And this is the fundamental approach of the Chainlink network and various Chainlink tools around privacy. One good example is the Blockchain Privacy Manager, which can stop data from entering or leaving a blockchain and providing certain degrees of encryption to make sure that information that does leave is not readable by external systems. Also, you have systems like Deco, which can verify something about a piece of information like an identity or account data or proof of funds and put the proof that that information is of a certain standard or way, but not the information itself. And then finally, you have CCIP private transactions, which is the first way to create private cross-chain transactions, once again, using encryption and decryption. So Oracle Networks can be viewed as a kind of parallel system that creates privacy around blockchain transactions, around data that touches blockchains, around interactions between blockchains, while controlling what is revealed onto a blockchain that is inherently a, a more public and transparent technology.